Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. And I'm excited. And I'm scared. <laughs> We're the Slimmer guys, plus Kentucky Ballistics. <laughs> Back at it again. Yeah. What's happening? I have some things for you today to try out. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? This looks like a 5.56 round. This is what we use in the military, sort of standard issue rifle, fires, fires these. You would be correct. Yeah, and yeah. that's a 55 grain bullet. And uh, today I've got something a little bit bigger for you to try out. And I'm really excited about this. Okay, so the grain refers to the weight of the, the... bullet weight. Okay. Yeah. These are all gonna knock the snot out of you. Um, <laughs> but I'm really excited to, to see you fire these, really, because uh, like, just like you said, like I'm used to shooting them and yeah. like, I do it often. Uh, you're not. I'm not so used to firing these. Your all. reaction should be pretty genuine. Okay, ready? <laughs> His face! I'm ready. Okay. All right, you have to chamber it and then you'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, we're ready to rock. You're ready to go. Ready? Yep. Not so bad. Not so bad. Yeah. You should be able to tell a difference. Yeah? Yeah, between this one and the other one. The grin that you just gave me says so. <laughs> oh. I feel like someone just went like this. <laughs> ready? We're ready. Child's play. The first one, I was like, really, like, oh, I fired it. I was like, I'd be fine. So the next one, I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. Wasn't fine. And this time, I'm like, okay, I'm ready for you. You've really You're ready that time. Yeah, I was ready. Safety off. You felt that one. I know you <laughs> felt that one. <laughs> that that, that uh, knocked the air out of me there. <laughs> Swifting, eh? that, this was the equivalent of someone just going like, <laughs> that was the Spartan yeah, kick. Yeah, straight it, into your chest. Right? Ego, have that. I could tell immediately after you shot that one, you were like, yeah. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> yeah so this one here uh, is uh, very new, and this is the 577 Tyrannosaur. And uh, I think that this one is going to kick you harder than anything else you fired today. Okay, before you hand it to me, <laughs> I'm gonna take my shirt off. You're like, wait a second. Oh, okay. Oh, to get all the rippling? Yeah, I wanna get the like chunky ripples <laughs> through the body. I think it'd be interesting to see. If this is the beefy one. Dude, yeah, this is, you're red. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, this might help with some grip, you know? Like, with the hair? Or it pulls your hair off. <laughs> this could be the first chest waxing video with an elephant. <laughs> all right, my friend. Here's your safety. Safety's on. Okay. And uh, you're ready to rock and roll. Safety off. Safety off. Oh! You broke it. You broke the gun. No, that's <laughs> supposed to happen. <laughs> that is a patch. Look at that. So uh, what happened when you did that? There's, this is the magazine release. And it recoiled so hard that your finger came out and hit it and you released the magazine. So if you were on a safari hunt, that'd be really bad because all your bullets would fall out. It seems like a design flaw. I said the same thing. They say that this gun is one of the hardest recoiling in the world that you could shoot. Whoa! Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's, it's like it dislocated my arm. arm. Yeah, my arm just was suddenly not in the same spot. Wow! Look, look you about you about hit yourself in the face with your thumb. Yeah, like it pulls me. <laughs> Freaking. Look at the, like the magazine release catch just knocks straight into my finger there. Like. <laughs> Immediately your bone is moved and then yeah. it's like muscle catches up and then skin is like a <laughs> <laughs> It'd be interesting to like f film from behind almost. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what your shoulder blade is doing. Yeah. I mean, I we can do that. Instant red mark. Instant. I really got to do something about this magazine. Look. <laughs> I no, mentioned I this yesterday. Today. I said, if you had to go in cold, it would be different. <laughs> that's a good way to start off your morning. Yeah, you know? like Forget a... coffee. Just shoot that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's, that's, I've just got in cold there, and that's, that made I think a difference. That's, I think that's right? the way to do it. The alarm goes off. You're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it took everything I had not to laugh right after this. <laughs> I, I, was saw, like, I, oh. I saw you, and you were just like, <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was horrible. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going to be so bad. Oh, 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 oh. 
it Man. rippled all the way down to my butt. <laughs> just like that probably ended in your calf muscles. Yeah, that is absolutely insane. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like someone kicked a chicken. <laughs> You know on Harry Potter when the uh, the hat starts talking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Your yeah. hat is forming a face and it's talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just you, creasing up. Look at that. Oh, my like, boob just goes like... <laughs> oh, oh. It looks like right there, like it's just mushed up perfectly. I think oh. temporarily one of your nipples came around the back. <laughs> <laughs> I got back nipples. Oh, yep, there it is. Look at the size of it. It's massive. Whoa. It's like a joke size. <laughs> if you can see the rifling in it as well. Yeah. It's still just breathing fire afterwards. Pretty much. And then all of this seems to be like unburnt, like <laughs> nightable fuel. Yeah, it's yeah. still just, yeah. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. <laughs> <laughs> Memes for days. Yeah, yeah, just Next time we do this, we'll, we'll stick two googly eyes on your back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my back, my back is no longer a magical hat. My nipples back around the front row. Really. <laughs> so I think that considering it's such a beefy gun, I reckon we should just shoot some stuff with it. That sounds good to me. So what yeah? are some of your favorite targets that you'd like to see at upwards uh, of 80,000 frames a second? Glue for sure. Okay. And uh, nacho cheese. Okay. I, and uh, I brought ballistic gel blocks. Yeah, I've always wanted to see some ballistic gel for a start in that sort of slow-mo that we can get. But with this gun, I think it would be insane. It's, I'm really excited to see what that's going to look like. So we went and found the uh, T-Rex round, or the bullet, sorry. And you can, it's still intact. It's gone through the wood and buried about two feet in the ground behind there. And uh, I had to dig it out. And you can just see the engaging in the rifle in there around the bounds on the outside. Yeah, it's meant for just deep penetration. Just so to go through anything and everything. <laughs> well, I did that. So we have that, and then that's a 650 grain soft point. That's all lead with a copper jacket. Okay. So you're gonna see quite a difference because that's just gonna zip right through. Yeah. This is, it's gonna be like a bomb going off, just. So it's gonna break apart and potentially really bubble out with ballistics. Down. A lot, yeah. It's, it's gonna create a, a huge wound channel. And okay. this is a, a nice block of ballistic gel. So that's a 16 inch block of 10% clear ballistic gel. And I'll set up two blocks, uh, which the solid, it's it's gonna zip right through. Just straight both. through, like yeah, nothing. nothing. Yeah. Are you gonna shoot the the blocks and whatnot? Uh, what, what do you mean? Uh, oh, no, <laughs> I think you, you wanna do it. You don't wanna shoot them? I think, uh, no, I know you can do it. It's all right, you know, I've had to, it's a lot I'll, of fun. You I'll know. volunteer as tribute, I'll shoot them. <laughs> okay, cool, thanks. Right there? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready when y'all are. Ready. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Did you see the... The fireball, like the circle that Wait, went around the, it. Did the fire go into, did you shoot the fire into the <laughs> middle of the block? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's lit up from the inside. That's amazing. Here we go. 82,000 frames a second. Here it is. Whoa. Oh, wait, what was that? What the hell what was, was that? that? What was that happened there? Bink. What happened? What? What is that? There's a single frame. <laughs> what? Where the initial impact I assume it's like just evaporated whatever the, the contact <laughs> piece was and just flashed. This is sort of one of those facts where the tip of the bullet at that point was 10 times hotter than the <laughs> surface of the sun or something. What if we discover that this will now be known as the Kentucky effect? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's like, a, there's like a cavitation ripple or something. Oh, happened. yeah. Oh, and there's a it second flash. It did it again. Flash. It did it, it again. It did it again, yeah. It's like when it changes medium from air to, to gel. It but it's happening a... ahead of the bullet. Oh, Look at that. And then you got and the fire getting, getting sucked, sucked in. in. Yeah. It's getting sucked into the gel. Look at all these ripples. Like this is Look at that. That is some flexible gel. It's like different gel. layers to it. Look at that. It's just left the, the fireball's just gone inside there and now it's just burning propellant in the gel. That now is it's collapsing. Absolutely so insane. If this is gas in here, the compression is oh. compressing the gas. Oh, and that's what's going to cause it to which go is making even. It oh, look, this is oh. a proper legit explosion pretty much. That's so bright, it's blown it out. Do you remember when we did the bangers in the tank and yeah. the compression of the cavitation relit and reignited the gas? Yeah. That's is... exactly what's happened. We sent gas in there and then crushed it. So yeah. it went through two 16 inch blocks and it was like it was it didn't go through anything. Yeah. Well, it's different because the first block did take more punishment than the second block. 
Right. So it has dissipated some energy right, in the first right. block, right? We could work out the deceleration between the first block and the second block, because it will be a different speed by the time it comes out. Right. Yeah. That was really cool. That was excellent. Right there? Yeah. Ready? Yep. Gosh. Made the whole thing jump. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, well, most of it's here. Look at this though. Look oh at my that. God, it looks like. Oh, piece came out the side too. Look, look it almost looks like made. fungus, like it grew. I guess like each individual one of these little fins is a piece of. It's probably yeah, a piece it, breaking it's a, up. It's the tail where it like blew open. And, and, then, and it seems to have blown open ahead of where it landed. Is the solid core in the middle there? Yeah, that's the bullet. Yeah, I can cut it out. Well, I bet it went in and then got sucked backwards. You think it moved backwards? It'll, it'll do that sometimes, oh. yeah. Oh, there it is. You wanna, it's going to be hot though. Wow. Oh. Look at that lump of metal. That's a solid chunk of lead there. Look, it, is that this, the, what's this in the middle I can see? Is that the jacket? Is it turned it inside out? Yeah, it's turned so it's, it inside out. It, it literally just mushed Look, it around like that. This used to be, the, you can see the jacket around the outside there is now in the middle of the bullet. You see that? It's just gone inside out. So it's just folded around it's the just back. Folded, it's just gone like, it's gone and just folded around it. <laughs> That's a massive wound channel. When you're using lead like this, the whole point is to deliver energy yeah. and create a bigger wound channel. Rather than the one we were using, it's more for penetration, making it through bone and muscle or walls, you know, boulders. Pretty much anything. <laughs> yeah. You know, ships. Yeah. <laughs> An elephant hiding behind a wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, I've never caught the, uh, Have you not? the soft point before, no. Wow, I've it's never seen it. Like, that's just such a huge, smooth chunk of lead now. Whoa. Oh, it just opened, oh, it's, it's just spewing oh. gas out. It's expanded Did you so see how wide much. it got? It got so wide. That's gone like five times the size of it normally. <laughs> it turns it into like an opposite square, like it's a square horizontally, and now it's a square like 45 <laughs> degrees offset. You can still see the corners of where it used to be a corner. Yeah, it's it just like... blew new corners out of the, of the side <laughs> yeah, of the yeah, faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came like a diamond shape. Any, anytime we watch this, it makes me way more excited. Oh to see yeah, that. now I'm really excited to see that. Whoa. Oh, I have that, um, yeah, that flash again. It's the Kentucky effect still in the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at the amount of fire in there. <laughs> look at it's that. still expanding too, it's still... Whoa. That is so bright, it blew out the sensor briefly. It's decelerated so much quicker as soon as it hit Oh yeah, the look, it almost made it out the end of the block and it's gonna come back. It did, look. It actually, there's like a little puff at the end. And the little cavitation explosions there. Wait, was it the, was so it the wait, actual bullet that went out? Oh no. Was it, it was. It hit the edge it of the. Cuts. I never oh. would have, you said exa you were exactly it right. You've done this back. a lot, clearly. I, I have never, I would never expected the bullet basically made it outside of <sighs> the block. And then it just sucked and then it back in. Like, look at this. <laughs> That's insane. Look, it's not even a block anymore, it's just. Oh, it looks, it looks like it's CGI, doesn't it? It looks yeah. CGI. It looks yeah, it doesn't look real. And look at the yeah. corners swinging around. You turned it inside out, essentially, and then yeah. filled it with fire. So what's causing, <laughs> what's causing the bullet to suck back in? Is it just the elasticity of the material? I'm not really or sure, honestly, the because there could be gases just literally sucking it back, but it also could just be the gel itself. So that amount of gel, specifically, was the perfect. Yep. If any more gel would have been unnecessary. Yeah. Any less, and the bullet would have gone out the end. It probably would have just plopped out into the puddle on the floor. 32 inches may of gel. Ma maybe the, because uh, there was still, if you look, there's no damage to the end of that gel, right? So what it's done is it's probably squashed that last couple of inches of gel <laughs> down to nothing, but it wasn't enough to elastically deform it, and it's just brought it back again. So there's clearly now a lot of gas inside oh, the yeah. of gel, to the point where it actually is like venting like a jet out the back. It's like an exhaust. Oh. <laughs> you see that? And like my slow-mo camera, I can't pick up anything like that. Like that's just, yeah. I'll see like a quick flash. That's insane. That's a whole nother level. Yeah, I mean, that was 82,000 frames. 82,000. Even mine didn't see anything like that. <laughs> yeah. The one that I use. That is so cool. And it's also just absolutely absurd that that is in a shoulder-fired rifle. <laughs> I mean... I mean, really, it shouldn't I, be. I would expect. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, would expect nothing less, though. If, you're, if I'm, if I'm going to go yeah. trudge out after like the world's largest animal, I guess I would want something like that. I mean, it might even be overkill. Scott's setting up for a target. 
Yeah, I've got two different rounds. This is the solid brass round that's supposed to penetrate. Then this is your soft one here. Look at the difference in that. That's an incredible difference. So is glue one of your favorite targets? Yes, I'm really excited about this glue because it always reacts in a really weird way. Yeah, I guess so. Like with your camera, thick and webby. Yeah, yeah. like it. Yeah, it, it tries to hold together. You think it'll come to us, the glue? You think it'll make it? Maybe. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Oh, it got me! It got me! <laughs> Look at that. I was stood like way, like ten feet further back. <laughs> That oh yeah, I definitely hit to the left. Some explosion, look at that. And then at this point you're like, I better move. I wonder if we're gonna get you turning around and running away within the shot. We do. Like he's seen that bit. He's, yeah, yeah. he's like, like <laughs> no. No. I think, does it still hit me? Yeah. You said I've got glue on my back. You've got glue on your back. I think it was yeah. that little chug there, a little bit of spaghetti. Oh man, you wow. can see the bullet coming in. Yep. Yeah. It's so big that you can just see it plain as day. <laughs> we can see exactly where you hit it here. Look. Oh yeah, I definitely pulled to the left, I think. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, look at this like, little splash it's made. Oh, and you see the top go down as it's sort of stretching from below. Yeah. Just default. Oh, the top came off. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have got a better effect if you'd put like a small amount of dynamite in the glue. <laughs> you know, like a big M80? Yeah, you've probably Just, put uh, like more energy into it. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. This is actually sped up like 10 times. The actual speed is this. Wow, yeah, it's not moving at all. <laughs> it just shows you like how quick the bullet is compared to the aftermath. I'm just gonna put this on my finger and uh, pick it off later, you know, when you peel it off. I haven't done that since primary school. Yeah, exactly. So I'm looking forward to it Loved already. It. Look at it open. It's only like slightly to the side, but because of that, it's meant all the energy has gone that way and it's just blown it away. Ooh. This has been out here for a while. I don't know. Is this like a rusty old tin of cheese? Is like, <laughs> this is like six pounds of nacho cheese, but it's been out here for a while. Oh I, I don't God. know. Listen oh. to that. Cheese isn't supposed to sound like that. <laughs> That's been in the Kentucky heat for a while. Oh. If we did like pre-opening clips, cheese. if we did like cold opens, that's it. <laughs> oh, cheese is cheese ain't supposed to sound like that. <laughs> Ready when you are. I took a little extra time. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. It shoots up like a rocket. You Look. can see like it goes it made up a shape. exactly it like a, a shape. Made like a hat shape. Big pyramid. <laughs> it just fully snapped that table in half. You I was trying to run, but it was too late. Yeah, I already got late. hit. <laughs> you already got cheesed, son. It's so wow. big that you can see it from really far away. Oh. So you've hit kind of low, but central. Look at that. Oh, it just peels open. Hitting, hitting some glue behind. Yeah, oh, yeah. so it's already in the berm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that cheese, cheese explosion. Look at the hat it's made. It's made like oh. a perfect, like... I think it's just because it hits so low, everything above is still... Uh, it's like a rocket. So, so as it's yeah. hitting the air, it's spreading out to the point okay. where this is all spread because there it's was all like misted less above it. Yeah, okay. And this is still like the main meat of the tin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I always, I always forget because on all the footage it just looks like liquid. It, right. It just look, but it's, 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 it's really solid. solid. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How solid is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was uh, definitely the best looking ballistic gel footage I've ever seen. I have to agree. Like that's, uh, that was really cool. Yeah. I am really glad that we did that and we had some good sunlight because. Yeah, we were worried for a while. Yeah, the, I was really excited to see what that was going to look like. It was cool because I knew that ballistic gel would look good, but it's like that rifle and the round that you fire from it is like the beefiest round you could. <laughs> yeah. So it was like to, immediately up to 11. Yeah. You know? So it looks so cool. Look at the amount of damage. It's insane. You were very quick to hand over to, to Scott for the firing <laughs> on this one. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, was... I can't talk. I didn't fire it a single time and I'm really happy about it. <laughs> I was yeah. like, you want to, where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> I was telling him, I was like, uh, these rifles, you know, most people will get them and they'll take, you know, one or two shots and then they're like, oh, that's cool, <laughs> they're not gonna shoot them anymore. We shot that T-Rex more today than most people would probably ever shoot it in their lifetime. Yeah, just really blowing up nacho in. cheese and yeah. things. <laughs> Were you feeling it stack, like the amount of pain each time? Like uh, I can feel like after shooting that much, I can feel like, uh, like a not a throbbing, but you can tell that something's been happening there. <laughs> you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell, yeah, you can definitely tell. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. 
Once again, big thanks to Kentucky Ballistics for no having problem. us down the range. Make sure you subscribe, and you can also subscribe to us if you like slow-mo. We'll see you next time.